Hey, in the last video, I showed you how to create a new Android project. And in this video, we're going to check out the different folders in our Android project. Uh, as you can see, I've expanded the Android project we have just created. And you can see a lot of folders inside them. The first one we'll be dealing is the source folder or the SRC folder. This is the folder where we put in all the Java files. I'm going to expand this. You can see a package inside it. The name of the package is the same uh, as the one which we entered in the new application uh, project wizard. And inside this folder, we have the hello world activity to Java. So this is the place where you put in all your uh, Java code. And if you are a Java developer, you'll be spending most of your time inside this folder. And the next one is the gen folder or the generated Java files folder. We have already gone through this folder. I'm going to expand this and it has a package name and this package name resembles the same package name that we used in our new application project wizard. And if you expand this, you can see the r.java file which contains all the resource identifiers. And then I'm going to go to the resources folder or the res folder. This folder contains all the resources such as uh, drawables, layouts, menu and it also contains other resources such as uh, strings and the colors. You can see we have uh, five different drawable folders with different suffixes. Each and every drawable folder will have uh, images that are specific to the screen size of your Android device. And the layout file folder will contain all the layouts that is the UI screens for our uh, Android project. We'll talk about menus. Uh, menus are also built using XML. They are just XML documents. And we use uh, these XML documents to specify the structure of our menus that we will be using in our application. And values folder will contain all your string resources, uh, colors, it can also contain other resources such as dimensions and styles. We have not uh, talked about them, but there, is, there are a lot of other things uh, we have to know before we get to them. Uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, values folder with different uh, suffixes. And these are also device, device specific uh, values, just as the device specific drawables we have here with different uh, suffixes. We'll look into them and, and this is all you need to know about the resource folder. And next we have the libs folder or the libraries folder. Uh, this is the folder where you can put in uh, third party libraries that will help you during development. All your jar files will go into this folder. Once you drop your jar file into the libs folder, uh, Eclipse will automatically add them to the build path so that you can use them from your uh, Java class files. And here we have the bin folder or the binary folder. Uh, the binary folder contains all the compiled Java files and resources. This folder is also at automatically uh, managed by the Android and Eclipse build system. Just like the gen folder, we won't be spending any of our time with the bin folder as well as the gen folder. The last one is the assets folder. This is a very interesting folder. The assets folder can contain any kind of uh, files you want to bundle with your application. It allows you to access it as a file system. However, it is read-only. You can't write into the assets folder. The assets folder is helpful for certain cases. For instance, if you want to bundle a pre-populated database with your system, or if you want to have some CSV files or HTML files, uh, you can drop them into the assets folder and, and you can access them just as you would uh, access a file on your uh, file system. Uh, and game developers, they spend a lot of time um, in the assets folder. That is where they put all their images, uh, sounds, etc. The files that are present in the resource folder will have resource IDs. Uh, Android generates resource identifiers for each and every files inside your resource folder and you can access them very easily. But uh, when it comes to the files inside the assets folder, uh, they don't have resource identifiers. Android does not generate a resource identifier for these files. And you will have to access them using your file IO APIs. So this is the structure of our project. 
And there is one more thing I have to say uh, right now and uh, one of the most important uh, component or uh, one of the most important file in the project is your Android manifest file. Uh, there are a lot of uh, configuration options that are uh, available here and it is one of the most important files for your Android application. Uh, we'll be discussing about the Android manifest in the upcoming chapters because there are a lot of uh, other things you will have to learn before we uh, check out the Android manifest folder but uh, you're free to check open the file and you can go through it. You can also look at the raw XML document here and uh, try to understand what's going on but there is going to be a video on this and I will be explaining to you everything about the manifest. So in this video we watched about the different folders uh, or that make up the Android project structure and, and the purpose of each and every folder. That's about it. See you in the next video.